Do we even know what it means to hope? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about hope. Yeah, because I, I feel like it's a really important topic in scripture, but it's also something that I think I think we really kind of misunderstand. Because I feel like we don't even know what the word hope means anymore. You know, sometimes sometimes words like change their meaning. That's just something that happens with, with language. It just sort of changes over time. Like, did you know that the word nice originally meant not so smart? Yeah, or awful used to mean amazing. Yeah, or terrific meant super scary. Now those words kind of almost mean the opposite. And I feel like the word hope is doing the same thing. Because the word hope means to expect something that you want to happen will happen. And I feel like it's almost backwards now. Like for me, if I make plans to go outside and play with my friends, but I see that there are storm clouds up ahead, I might say, oh man, I really hope it doesn't rain. Or I might say, oh man, I really hope we don't have a whole lot of homework this school year. When I say those things, really what I'm saying is, I don't want it to rain, but it probably will. Or I don't want a whole lot of homework, but we'll probably get a whole lot of homework. And that understanding of the word hope is like backwards of what hope is supposed to be. Hope is trust. If you hope that something will happen, it's supposed to mean that you want it to happen and you believe that it will happen. And so it's almost like we think that hope means you want something good to happen, but you expect something bad, which can be very confusing when the Bible says that we should put our hope in the Lord or that our God is the God of hope. Well, let me tell you something. God is not the God of wishful thinking. Our God, the one true God, is the God of fulfilled promises. That means when you put your hope in the Lord, you are believing that what he says is true. You're believing that he can do what he says he will do. You know, when someone makes you a promise, you, you have two choices. Either you can believe that they're going to keep their promise, or you can believe that they're not going to keep their promise. And if you believe that they're going to keep their promise, what you are doing is hoping. Now, it would be weird because if, if someone says, oh, I promise I'll do this thing for you, and you say, yeah, I hope you do, that almost sounds like you're saying, yeah, I don't think you will, but you better. But no, really, truly, the real kind of hope is an expectation for good. So putting your hope in Jesus Christ means that you believe that what he says is true, that he can do what he's promised. So when I say my hope is in the Lord, that's like skydiving kind of hope. You know, when somebody jumps out of a plane to go skydiving, I'm sure, I'm positive. I've never gone skydiving myself, but I'm positive that they check those parachutes at least twice, probably like four times, to make sure that they will work when you jump out of that airplane. But when it comes right down to it, you don't know that it's going to work. You can't prove that it's going to work until you jump out of an airplane and pull pull the chute. And you know, the truth is that hope and trust can be really hard for us because there is nothing on earth that you can fully trust other than Jesus Christ. And I'm not saying that to say that we should never hope in anything. We should never trust anything. Because the fact is we hope in a lot of things. We put our trust in a whole lot of stuff even if you don't realize it. But I am saying that Jesus Christ is the only one ever, the only thing, the only person who will always, always keep his promises. Stuff lets us down. There are times where parachutes break, but our God is the God of fulfilled promises. We can trust in the Lord. We can put our hope in Jesus Christ. There is hope in the Lord. And when it comes right down to it, Jesus Christ is our only hope. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would trust in the Lord that you would lean on him, that you would expect him to keep his word, because he will. Jesus said that if you believe in him, if you trust in him, then you will have eternal life. I have hope in Jesus Christ, and I have hope that I've been forgiven for my sins, and I have hope that one day he will come back and will make all things new, make everything right. And when I say I have hope, I'm not saying I really wish this would happen. I'm saying I believe it. I expect it. I trust it will happen. I have hope in the Lord.